Vivek Ramaswamy is a 2024 presidential candidate. Vivek, why do the Democrats now want to censor RFK Jr.? Well, as somebody who is competing with RFK in some way in this election process, and as somebody who has my own disagreements with him on issues ranging from climate policy to affirmative action, I applaud his willingness to speak truths that the Democratic Party, his own party, does not want to hear. They prefer compliant puppets of the managerial class, like Joe Biden, like John Fetterman, as you noted, to somebody who's actually going to challenge their orthodoxy. And the funny thing, Jesse, is that the left used to be the movement in this country that stood for free speech, but things have changed in the last couple of decades. Now it appears to be more of a conservative value. And so even though I disagree with RFK on a number of policies, I did call him yesterday. I told him to keep up and stay strong in his fight. I respect his willingness to speak hard truths. That's what I'm doing in the Republican primary as well. And I think our country is going to be at its best when both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are the best versions of themselves, each pushing each other up, leveling up. That's what competition is supposed to do. Yeah, but they but don't want the competition. The class of the Democratic they don't Party, want they don't it, want that. Vivek. They don't want it. You know, yeah. you say something that there's a study that, that, that COVID was bioengineered. So what? I mean, you can call that BS. Well, you can call it, let's look into it. Or you could call it, what? so what? What, what are they well, afraid the real, of? The real question. They're afraid of the truth, actually, because the path to truth runs through free speech and open debate. We would not have locked down those schools if you had been allowed to say on the Internet that we should not lock down those schools. We wouldn't have locked down the schools in the way we did. We would have known that the virus originated in a lab in Wuhan if you had been allowed to say on the Internet or elsewhere that it originated in a lab so in Vivek, Wuhan. So, Vivek, are they embarrassed, yeah, that, are they embarrassed that they, that they botched embarrassed. the response to COVID or is there a financial factor? I think it's more than just the retrospective embarrassment, though I do think that's part of it. It's the fact that they want to hide from the truth in the present. And I think they want to have the option, Jesse, of saying that if this is the new order, if suppressing misinformation becomes a new progressive virtue, then the next time there's an emergency or so-called emergency circumstance, they can still pull that card to advance their political so agenda. So it's about power. So in a certain way, it's preserving the options. So it's, it's preserving about power the power play. Option. Okay. Because the next thing exactly that happens, it. they suppress speech all over again because now there's precedent. When RFK goes out yes. there and he says things that many people don't agree with, not everybody agrees with everything RFK Jr. says, are the Republicans trying to elevate him to use him as a weapon against the Democrats? What's the Republican play here? Well, I think the Republican play should be simpler, Jesse. It's why I'm in this race for U.S. president. I think we need to offer an affirmative vision of our own. And the fact that the Democratic Party is in such disarray that they're not even allowing open debate in their party, I don't think we should mess with that broken apparatus one bit. I think our focus should be asking what are we running to as conservatives. And I think this is the mistake that many Republicans can make, is just resort to criticizing the Democrats. That's an endless game because the hypocrisies are innumerable. Right. I think what we now need to focus on as a movement is leveling up ourselves and asking what we stand for. And that's what I'm leading the but way on, Jesse, this What do we stand for, so Vivek? Well you tell me. I think we stand for individual, family, nation, God, not race, gender, sexuality, and climate. We stand for the ideals of the American Revolution. We stand for self-governance over aristocracy. We stand for the truth in this country. That's what we got to start running to. We're not just running from something. We're running to something, to our vision of what it means to be an American. If we do that as a Republican Party, we win the next election in a landslide. And I'm in this race to deliver it. All right. Run, Vivek, run. Thanks so much for joining Primetime. Yeah. Thank you. Fox News alert. 